If you're in a class that's using standards-based grading in Canvas, you are going to see something that might look a little bit different than what you're used to. There are going to be two different gradebooks in Canvas. One is called Assignments and one is called Learning Mastery. So when you go to Grades in the left-hand menu of your class, the first thing I recommend doing is arranging your grades by module. That's going to make it a little bit easier to view. Then you'll notice that there is the Assignments, category and the learning mastery category. So you have two separate gradebooks that you can toggle back and forth between the two. So what the learning mastery gradebook is, is it's the part of your gradebook that does not have any grades. What it is doing is it's showing your current understanding of concepts on a four point scale, which you can see here on the right. Standards will be assessed multiple times throughout a unit and can be reassessed to help demonstrate new understandings that you might have developed. This gradebook will be updated regularly, and it will allow you to see what you currently understand and what you might need to focus on to improve your understanding. You will be able to view all of the rubrics for each standard for each of the attempts that you have made to show mastery for that particular standard. So you could be doing multiple different assignments to help you show mastery of that one standard. So what that's going to look like in Canvas is you will see your different standards laid out. So this is an example from a science course with science and engineering practices. And you can see on here there are four different standards, SEP 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, and 2.1. And when you look at SCP 1.3, it says that you have one alignment, which means that you have been assessed for this one time. So there has been one assignment that had this rubric attached to it. And you could see your score that you earned. You got a three out of four. Now, on the other standards listed here, you can see that there are no alignments. So those have not yet been assessed, the two up at the top. 2.1 has been assessed. There is one alignment. And so if you had three, four, five alignments, you will see all of the different rubrics for each of the different times you are assessed on that particular standard. So this is a good way for you to kind of see your growth and see how you are doing on each of the standards. What are you understanding? And maybe what do you need to work on to be able to master that standard? And mastery of a standard is three out of four on that four point scale. Now, the assignment gradebook is the second part of the gradebooks that you will see. Here's where you will find your letter grades. And how those letter grades get inputted into the assignments gradebook is they get transferred from the learning mastery gradebook if the standard has been assessed a minimum of three times. Grades are updated only for grading periods. So during the progress report time, quarters, and the semester. These grades will go on your transcript and they will be calculated in the GPA. Now, these will not be updated every single time you do an assignment. So if you wanna see how you're doing, you want to make sure that you're looking at the standards in the Learning Mastery Gradebook to see how you're doing, what you're understanding, what you're not understanding. However, in this assignment portion of the gradebook, you will be able to view if you have any late assignments, missing or incomplete assignments, and you'll also be able to view any feedback that your teacher provides to you in the assignment gradebook. So this is what it looks like. For your assignment gradebook, the categories are, for assignments, you have 0% of the letter grade, and standards are 100% of the letter grade. Since we organized our gradebook by modules that I showed you earlier, the top part of this, what we're seeing here above this blue line, these are the assignments. And notice that they're all out of zero points, and that is because the assignments themselves are worth zero points because we're not grading them whether you complete the assignment, you're being graded whether you have mastered the standards. So this top part of the gradebook is just going to show us whether you've turned things in or not. Um, we can check in the status column 
you'll notice that the third one down is late. You might also see the status of missing if you haven't turned in that assignment. The next category is for the score. And here is a check mark. So that just means it's complete. You might see an incomplete or you might see an X, which means it wasn't turned in. And again, it's out of zero points because you are not being graded based on turning in an assignment in. You're being graded on the learning mastery, and that will be what you view in the learning mastery gradebook. However, you will see little comment bubbles, and these comment bubbles here will be feedback that has been provided to you on that particular assignment from your teacher. You can also view the rubrics for that assignment, which might have additional feedback in it. So you can be checking the assignment category here to see how you're doing on each individual assignment. Down at the bottom of this, you will see CC4, DCI, LS2A1, SCP 1.3. These are standards that have been assessed. So once at progress reporting period, et cetera, your grades from the Learning Mastery Gradebook, whatever the cumulative average you have based on a decade average grading system, so if you've been assessed five times, whatever that decade average is, will be the score that is entered into this category. And all of these assignments are worth four points. So how does that look like when you are looking at your grade? So the assignment gradebook is based on having an equal distribution of percentages for each grade. So an A is 80 to 100. Traditionally, an F would be anything below a 60%, but here it's 0 to 20%. So it's equally based or equally distributed, these percentages. So based on the previous page, when you looked at the grades being transferred from the Learning Mastery Gradebook into the Assignment Gradebook, the percentage was the 63.3%. Traditionally, that would be a D. But with standards-based grading, when we're checking for mastery and understanding of concepts, that actually turns out to be a B. So that B grade would be what goes onto your transcript at the end of the quarter, if it's a quarter class or at the end of the semesters for semester long courses. Now, just a reminder, the assignment grade book is not going to be continuously updated with the grade. It will only, the grades will only be updated at progress, quarter or semester grading periods. However, you could always look at that assignment grade book to see if you are missing assignments, have any late assignments, that information will automatically occur. The part that doesn't show up in this gradebook is the part where the grades are transferred over from the Learning Mastery gradebook into this assignment gradebook, and that is represented what you see here by the standard abbreviations.